Hi guys, uh, this is the simple construction of the uh, NAUT switch uh, using which you can um, control any appliance plugged onto this uh, socket over here. So right now I have uh, plugged in a uh, desk lamp. So if you see uh, the supply to the switch goes uh, from the mains. Inside I have the uh, VMOS D1 Mini. This is powered by an external mobile uh, charger or an adapter so there are uh, two ways to activate the switch or use the switch uh, first one is through a web server uh, which is hosted from the vmos d1 mini itself and the second one is through a blink app you all uh, must be aware of the uh, blink android app that is the another uh, way in which you can uh, use the switch so right now I have uploaded the uh, web server uh, sketch onto the uh, VMOS D1 Mini. So let us open up a web page and then uh, try to turn the lamp on and off. So right now the relay is off. And so first uh, let me just turn on the relay. And now you can see that the lamp has turned on. now off on and off so let's move on to the uh, blink method of uh, implementing the switch so first open the blink app log in into your account and then tap on the plus symbol Click on the hardware model, just scroll down until you reach a VMOS D1 Mini. Click continue, just give a name uh, to the project. Choose create and then uh, click on the plus symbol over there, add a button. Tap on the button and click on the pin and change the pin to digital D1. Relay on the VMOS D1 Mini is controlled by the D1 pin. Change it to switch. So go back and now you need to generate uh, the authentication uh, token. So click on the uh, nut or a hexagon shaped uh, icon over there right at the top and then uh, choose email on. Now open the Arduino IDE and then go into file examples. Just scroll down until you reach blink and from blink uh, choose boards Wi-Fi and then choose uh, ESP8266 uh, standalone. And here you need to paste your uh, authentication token and uh, the SSID password and change the baud rate to the one uh, used in your COM port. So here it says that it is 115200. Uh, change the baud rate over here and then choose uh, upload. can open the uh, serial uh, monitor okay so in the serial monitor it, uh, it says it is connecting to my Wi-Fi connected it gives the IP address and it also uh, connects to the blink cloud the through port uh, 8442 so once uh, you get this notification you can just close this and head back to your android app uh, using which you can control the uh, switch now so once you upload the program onto your uh, arduino or the vmos d1 mini on the blink project that you just created tap on it and uh, you will get an icon over here something like a play button or something just play uh, press on the play button 
and then uh, your project should be up and running and now right now uh, it says that the device is off tap it again it's on off on and off so that is pretty much it guys so that is how you can uh, create a portable uh, IoT switch uh, using which you can uh, control uh, any devices provided uh, the device current uh, rating matches the current rating on your relay. I hope you find this useful and informative and if you feel so please subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.